Hi, today I'll show you a complicated endodontic case, but first, coffee. Welcome back. A few weeks ago, I did a root canal treatment. I had few challenges but I was able to overcome these obstacles by using some tools that are essential part of modern endodontic practice. Let me talk you through this so you can understand the whole story. The patient was referred by a GP. He had incomplete palpectomy. So I took a PA radiograph and this is how it looks. When I saw that radiograph, I said, okay, this is a root split and I would have to treat it as two canals. I started the root canal therapy, but every time I put the hand file, it catches something from different angles. I was suspicious and I decided to take a comb beam CT scan. Let me show you how I usually view CBCT radiographs. Typically, when I open CBCT radiographs, I like to open them in the MPR viewer, which stands for multiplanar reconstruction. In this view, you get three main views, the coronal, sagittal, and the axial. When you look at the axial view, for example, you will see these two handles. Each handle represents another viewer. So that represents the axial, and the blue one represents the coronal. I like to align these uh, handles along with the teeth. So this the sagittal is going to be parallel to the teeth. And in the sagittal view, I like to keep the um, coronal vertical with the root. And in the coronal view, I like to keep the sagittal vertical with the root. And this way, I'll be able to examine each root separately. Anyways, let's focus on our premolar. I'll move the viewer in the sagittal view, and I'll go from the uh, crown down to the apex. And I'd like you to focus on the axial view. It starts as one canal. And as you go apically, the anatomy is going to completely change and becomes from one canal to a C-shaped canal. I'll do that again. So you start coronally and as you go apically, it's going to start as one canal and then will change to a C-shaped canal, which really adds an additional level of difficulty to this case. Now you can see how complicated the situation is. Now I have a premolar that is 27 millimeter long. The first 15 millimeter is a single canal and then it becomes a C-shaped canal. Now the trick is how to shape a C-shaped canal beyond a small canal. And then how should I plan to clean the C-shaped canal? The way that I usually handle C-shaped canals is by cleaning it as three canals to maximize my cleaning. I would instrument the beginning of the C-shaped canal and the end of that canal, and then I would try to find an additional path in between. In order to do that, I would have to use a microscope, which is going to allow me to visualize the C-shaped canal. I would have to use ultrasonic tips to give me a straight axis to each path that I plan to instrument. Using ultrasonic is the safest way to open up canals. They are thin and you can see what you're doing. Unlike hand pieces which really block the whole axis and you won't be able to see properly. And I would need a controlled memory rotary system that can be pre-curved and then stay bent. And this way, I'd be able to slide each file into the canal and instrument it precisely. Now, let me show you the case after the root filling. 
When I completed the filling, I also placed a glass ionomer, orifice barrier, to rule out any possible contamination of gut percha when the restorative dentist does the final restoration. You know, the majority of restorative dentists do not use rubber dams, and this is a case that I really don't want to retreat. Use these tools and I promise you, you will be able to overcome even the most challenging cases. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you don't want to miss any future videos. Until I see you next time.